In this video, I will show you how to upgrade Lineage OS from version 21 to 23. You might think you can just go into the settings app and update from there. And that works fine for security patches. But when it comes to jumping between major versions like 21 to 23, you actually need to do it manually. That's exactly what I will walk you through in this guide. Sounds good? Let's get started. To upgrade Lineage OS to a newer version, you'll need a few things. First, of course, you need your device, a computer, and a USB cable. Then you'll need ADB, Odin, and Samsung USB drivers. You can find links to all of them in the official Lineage OS installation guide on the Lineage OS website. Okay, let's download all of them. So first we need to go to Lineage OS website. So search Lineage OS. And then just click on get Lineage OS and just go to Samsung and scroll down and until you find your tab. So we are using Galaxy Tab A7 Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click on that and just go to installation. This is where you will find all of them. So yep, on the basic requirements, we can see that um, on the step two, make sure your computer has ADB and fast boot. So there's a link here. So I'm going to click on it and it will download it. Okay. Download the Windows zip. Click on it and it will download it. And then we need uh, Odin. So if we continue to steps. And in the pre-install instructions, we can see that on step seven, download this version of Odin. So click on this and it will take you, it will start downloading it. I already have it. It's okay. So we need to download Samsung drivers, Samsung USB drivers, right? It's on the uh, same place where you can download the Odin. So on step six, download and install the necessary drivers. Click on download the newest Samsung drivers from here and it will download the XC executable file, download it. I already have everything. So let's go one by one and uh, install them. So after you download it, you should have these three files. Odin, platform tools, latest windows, Samsung USB driver for mobile phones. I'm going to click on this executable file and it should install the drivers. Okay, it says Samsung USB driver for mobile phone is already installed on your computer. Do you want to proceed with the installation anyway? So I already have the driver so i don't need it and then uh, we have two zip files we need to extract them i'm gonna extract individually you can delete the zip files if you want to so the next thing we want to do is put adb in environment variable which allows us to just essentially run the executable file from whatever directory we are on. Just search for environment variable. It, uh, the, it will show up as edit the system environment variables. I'm going to click on environment variables and here user under user variables for uh, whatever your username is i'm going to click on path and i'm going to choose edit so underneath this i'm going to add another like path so i'm going to edit click on this maybe i need to add new okay to add we need to copy the path i'm going to just uh, close this for now 
So, yep. I'm going to click on the platform tools latest and locate where the ADB executable file is and click on the, the search, uh, whatever the path thingy and copy the path. Control C. And then just go back to environment variables. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to path, edit, new. And here I'm going to paste them. So, so make sure you insert at the end another slash. Otherwise it won't work. Click OK and close. And uh, we don't need to do anything for the Odin. You just need to launch the executable. It will open up a user interface. So it's a graphic user interface. So it's not a command line tool. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, set up USB debugging on your tablet next. So the first thing we need to do is enable USB debugging. So we need to go to settings. I'm already using Lineage OS. In this video, we're just trying to upgrade Lineage OS. So if you want to watch how to install uh, Lineage OS on uh, your stock Android, uh, you need to watch my previous video. Okay. Uh, let's go to about tablet maybe. We need to click a build number seven times or something. Okay, I am already, it says I'm already developer. I'm going to go to system. Okay. Under system, I can see developer options. So we just need to find USB debugging. So currently it's turned off. Let's turn it on. After you turn on USB debugging, you need to connect your tab to your PC and you need to run some command. Okay, I connected my tablet to PC, ADB devices. So we got a, a device. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just allow authorization. Make sure you select allow always from this device or else um, it might not work. Okay, next we're gonna follow upgrade to a higher version of Lineage OS, Lineage 21 to Lineage 23 guide. So the only thing, there are a couple of things we want to do. First, we want to download the latest Lineage recovery. I feel like uh, this is the one they're asking for, I guess. I'm going to download it. So that is a recovery. Uh, we will use the Odin to flash the recovery. And then we're going to need to... There is like... Um, they're telling us to download some packages. But uh, I don't think we need them. The only thing we do need, I guess, is this zip file. And then we need to uh, download G apps. So click on this button. It will take you to this screen. I'm going to select ARM 64. And download the zip. Next, um, we just uh, need to sideload all of these. 
I'll be back after I finish downloading everything. Okay, it's finally finished downloading. So I'm gonna just rename zip files. So it's much easier. I'm going to call this one Z apps. Okay. So what we got to do is just flash recovery image. After we are done flashing, we need to enter recovery mode. And then we just need to sideload lineage OS and Z apps. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now we need to go to download mode to go to download mode. Uh, you need to connect your tablet to the PC and hold down um, volume up and down and power button at the same time and it will enter into download mode. After you enter into download mode, just run Odin and then just flash recovery image. Okay, we are in the download mode in our tablet. Uh, we just need to run Odin. Okay, after reading the uh, guide, I, I can see that we need to do some stuff to the recovery image. So we need to run this command on recovery image. So go to wherever uh, your recovery image is. So I have it here. I'm gonna just run command here, click on the path and enter CMD here and it will open a command prompt here and then I'm going to paste the command so after I did that I got a recovery tar so in the Odin software go to options and uh, uncheck auto reboot and check um, check the box next to AP and select AP and go to wherever the recovery tar is and select it and start just press start okay it says it's pass now we just need to go to the recovery uh, mode thingy to enter recovery mode first you need to turn off uh, your tablet to do that just press an old power button and volume down after the screen goes black you need to press volume up and power button this will enter recovery mode okay we can now uh, just click on the apply update from ADB and go to wherever your uh, zip file is we need to open command prompt on that location so press cmd and just like we've been doing and run adb devices maybe so we are in side load mode so i'm gonna cut i'm just gonna copy this file this command and go here and put it like this but I'm gonna say lineage OS zip just uh, type in first few letter and uh, press tab it's gonna auto complete and press enter Okay, next we're gonna sideload the G apps.
okay after we are done with this we can just reboot it all right let's take a quick look at how lineage os 23 looks first up the notification panel honestly it looks exactly like lineage os 21 so no it's not using google's new material express ui which was fully introduced in android 15 we're on android 16 so yeah that's a bit of a letdown anyway just like before it has everything you'd expect from a notification panel it has internet bluetooth airplane mode auto rotate all the basics one thing i noticed though the native screen record still doesn't work so you'll need to use third-party recorder i'm using screen cam uh, this one uh, you can find it from fdroid i'll also leave a link in the description all right moving on let's check our settings app this is where you'll start seeing a few ui changes the list items now have a background color with a rounded corners it's a small change nothing too crazy I don't have time to go through every setting so let's just look at the major ones starting with display there's also nothing special here you got the usual things you got night light which I think warms up the screen to reduce blue light next uh, let's check out wallpaper and styles this is also a bit disappointing sure it supports dynamic colors but that's pretty much it you also had the same support in lineage os 21 so that's not so that's not something new also i, I noticed you can't even customize the clock also when you hold hold down on the home screen and click wallpaper and styles this takes you to the same screen okay now let's check out the default apps okay these are the default apps i don't want to be two hours but i generally don't like most of the apps that lineage os comes with the ui looks outdated and kind of weird to be honest i won't be using like audio fx the default browser calculator or anything really i'm just gonna replace them with uh, something i like also i ran some games bgmi and free fire their performance is about the same as you'd expect i also ran antutu benchmark okay here's the result it scored 318,000 points. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.